Hello, this video is how to run oil digital marketing on a CPA. So we're looking at a model of digital marketing on a 100% paid on results commercial model. No upfront investment or budget allowed. To do this, we're going to work across the different types of affiliate and we're gonna model that into a full funnel digital marketing channel that is 100% paid on results. Now, what we have here is our marketing funnel. The C, think, do, care, characterized as awareness, engagement, conversion, and repurchasing or customer loyalty. And I've selected 16 affiliates that can help satisfy each of these stages. We've then gone and modeled that into C, think, do, care. Again, awareness, engagement, conversion, and repurchasing or loyalty. And we have some examples. So we could work with an influencer or influencers on a paid and results basis to drive awareness. We could then have a blogger. Now the blogger could write content aimed at persons who have seen the influencer's content, such as if the influencer is talking about a particular product, we could have a range of blog pieces and content created that do reviews or other features about the product that rank well on SEO, and that will be picked up on organic search. Next, we could have a PPC affiliate. It's an affiliate that we delegate PPC rights to. Perhaps again, following the example of the, the bidding on terms around this product, and they may have a custom landing page with a incremental offer, such as a minimum spend. So if the, if the customer there buys the product that the influencer and the blogger have been speaking about and that the custom landing page is made for, you know, if they buy that product and something else, then they can get some sort of incentive. And then in terms of repurchasing, we could work with cashback sites on a return customer only basis, where they get a specific cashback rate for purchasing. Again, we could look at them purchasing that same product or similar other products as a repeat customer. But this then as an example is how we could potentially run all of our digital marketing on a paid on results basis covering all areas of the marketing funnel. So what are the applications of this? The applications then are mainly, I'd say for startups and SMEs where budgets are stressed, it could be a way for them to either delegate channels fully to the affiliates or they could run parallel. So there is a way to delegate a portion of your PPC and PPC bids to an affiliate and the brand bids on other terms. The two obviously never competing for the same customer. Which ties into again, the non-conflict split test. PPC being one example, but CSS is also something that affiliates and advertisers can do at the same time and not conflict and bid for the same audience. Could be an interesting way, I suppose, for larger brands to view um, in-housing versus third party. So, how an in-house team performs on these channels versus if an affiliate can do it, is it more cost efficient to do it via an affiliate on a cost per, on a, on a paid on results basis. Again, that's something that they can look at. And again, the delegation of budgets um, and again, to ease pressure. So again, PPC budgets can be delegated or CSS budgets can be delegated even on the social media front influencers that work on the paid on results money that would have gone to paying up front could instead be spent elsewhere while we have influencers that work on a CPA basis. So considerations are then loss of control. Obviously delegating anything to an affiliate means that a brand forfeits a degree of control versus doing it themselves um, in-house. It depends on conversion, especially higher up the funnel. So influencers and bloggers, in example we use, will only be willing to do this long-term working on paid and results on a long-term basis, if they're seeing conversions, if they're getting commissions paid. It's very much a theoretical model. I haven't seen it been done yet by anyone. However, it's, I'd say, very practical to, and easy to apply. The affiliates already exist. Um, so any advertiser and any affiliate network could potentially test and learn to see how this works, which again links into the last part. It's very much a test and learn approach, very much something that needs to be done and refined. 
So my thoughts on this are that it opens up new possibilities. It's a very different way of thinking about affiliate marketing as opposed to it just being very much concentrated at the conversion stage. It is good for advertisers to consider looking higher up the funnel and how affiliates can assist there. PPC and CSS is very well established within affiliate and works quite well as does things such as cart abandonment overlays all on a cost per acquisition basis or used by a lot of advertisers and all working. The mantra I'd say here is to complement, not compete. So anywhere where affiliate is used or, you know, if it's a split test or a full delegation to an affiliate, it should very much be with a view that it's to complement whatever the business is doing, not to compete or replace. So just have to be mindful of any internal politics and that may influence how things will work. And of course, it must be incremental. So in how advertisers work for affiliates, everything they do in terms of how they're paying them or what offers are being used must be adding value. It shouldn't be doing something that the brand could just do anyway. There must be a clear benefit. It'll be good to get your thoughts on this. My email is there if you want to contact me to you know go over this in more detail if you have any questions and i do touch on this in my book which you can find on amazon the advertiser's guide to affiliate marketing leave a comment like please subscribe that would be a massive help and if you can share as well and also very keen to get your thoughts on this and thanks for watching